So now we're ready to explain the bingo. You've got your five numbers, get your five numbers. I have mine here, this is a pretend. It's not really my numbers. Um, so if I pull a number, let's say I call, I pull 10, I don't have that number, so I don't have anything. If I pull 13, then that's gonna be B. And then if I pull 30, I get nothing. If I pull a three, I'm gonna be B-I, okay? B. So in the comments section, you're going to, okay, so Molly, I see your, I see, I'm looking, I'm gonna make note of this real quick. Um, okay, so Molly is Victoria. I'm gonna make a note of that real quick. I did have some, ooh. I haven't used this pen. I thought it would be fitting to use my kitty cat pink pen today with my nails. Um, Lane Swerve there. Okay, so Molly is Victoria. Any other faux names? I do have a couple husband's names on here. Some of you ladies are playing on your husband's account and I did make note of that when you emailed me. So we have a Paul and a Chuck. Um, if there's anybody else that has a faux name, your name isn't what's on my list uh, or what's on your registration. Let me know now. It will ease the confusion later if you were to win. Um, okay, so now back to the bingo game. Did, does anybody not understand how to play? My um, uh, comments are not. Uh, so, uh, Linda, did you tell me that already? Not to ask you again, but what's your last name? Um, okay, let's see. You know what? Next time too, I'll make a, I'll make a form. I'll make a spot for faux names. I'm gonna make myself a note. Um, make spot on form for. Facebook name. I call it phone name, but that's what my sister, um, <laughs> just remind me to tell you the, the faux Angie, um, the faux Angie story. Cause it's really good. I mean, really good. Um, yeah. So as we're playing the game, you're going to use the comment section. And as I pull a number, if you have it, you put B. And if you have the second one, you put B-I. And if you have the third one, you put B-I-N. So you'll start to see all the B-I's and the B-I-N's. So you just keep track of your five numbers and use the comments. Um, and then once someone calls bingo, I have everyone's number here. I will verify it. And then you'll get to confirm which fabric basket that you want, okay? Any other questions about how to play? Uh, yeah, Jane got, uh, okay, uh, Linda, I'm glad you told me that, because now that you said it, I'm like, oh, I remember that, but not today. <laughs> um, okay. Any other foe? Uh, okay, we'll figure it out when we get there. I think I made note of everyone. Okay, let's get started. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna take all these numbers and put them in my little fabric basket. They're not easy to pick up. I don't wanna drop any either. Okay, who's ready? I'm gonna shake it up. Yes, don't wipe your numbers off until the third game of each game. We're gonna pull three winners per game, okay? So I'm gonna set this here and just reach in. The first number, <laughs> that is so funny. One, our first number is one. So if you have one, type in the comment section B.
Oh, the lag is seriously... The second number is 29. Okay, for our first joke. <laughs> Wait a second. Maybe I can't tell that one. Okay, why go to the paint store when you're on a diet? You can get thinner there. If y'all have never been to one of these, all the jokes are pretty corny. They're pretty funny. Our next number is 19. Why couldn't the astronaut book a hotel on the moon? Because it was full. What does a pig say on a hot summer day? I'm bacon. <laughs> I'm off to the paint store myself. Okay, our next number is 12. Okay, we got a couple B.I.s. Um... Apparently, you can't use beef stew as a password. It's not strong enough. <laughs> what do you call someone wearing a belt with a watch attached to it? <laughs> a waste of time. Twenty-five. Let's move it over here. Okay, there was a joke the other day. Um, <laughs> this was good. What do you get when you cross a turtle with a porcupine? A slow poke. <laughs> What do you call a turtle chef? A slow cooker. <laughs> the next number is six. And the way I know that is because the hole is at the top. Okay, we got some B's, some B.I.'s. I don't think I see a bin yet. Oh, there's one. Kimberly has one. 16. <laughs> Why are crabs so bad at sharing? Because they're shellfish. Oh, we have a couple more bins. Nine. Okay, we got some bins, some B.I.s, some B's. Y'all might be hearing the thunder behind me. What? Oh, this one's kind of sad. I'm not gonna read it. Okay, what's the difference between a hippo and a zippo? <laughs> One is really heavy and the other's a little lighter. <laughs> I'm gonna read that one again. What's the difference between a hippo and a zippo? One is really heavy and the other's a little lighter. <laughs> Don't forget to look at your numbers. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, we got another bin and another bin. How do turtles communicate with each other? With shell phones. Five. Oh, the feed is just completely stopped. It's scaring me. <laughs> Cindy, you're right about the Zippo. Our kids would not know. My son knows because he and his friends used to use firework, play with fireworks every July the 4th. So big, big fireworks people. I don't even know how to word it. Okay, we got some more beans. It's getting close. Um, I think I might have told this joke before, but I don't remember. Why do ducks have feathers? <laughs> to cover their butt quacks. <laughs> it sounds familiar, but it could be from my, my children. No bingo yet. Two. We should be getting close any minute now. Why was the baby ant confused? Because all of its uncles were ants. <laughs> that one took me a minute, I will admit. Oh, speaking of ants, today is my Aunt Betsy's birthday. Happy birthday. I sent her one of the red truck baskets. Okay, the next number is 18. What do you call a bee that can't make up its mind? <laughs> a maybe. A maybe. Okay, we got lots of B-I-N's and lots of B's, B-I's, a few bings, not a lot. There's another bing. 11. Terry, I got your box. Thank you so much. I just opened it last night. I love the soaps. Okay, another joke. Um, what do you get if you cross a parrot with a shark? <laughs> a bird that will talk your ear off. <laughs> what do you get if you cross a parrot with a shark? Oh, that's a little scary. Okay, we got another bing. Hi, Judy. Seventeen. <laughs> what do you call a fat psychic? <laughs> a four chin teller. <laughs> oh, we got several beings. We're getting very close. Wow. Oh, it's going to be crazy. Oh, you got bingo, Judy? Okay, so let's check Judy's numbers. So Judy's numbers are 6, 11, 17, 25, and 30. So, Judy, which basket do you want? Now, if more of you called bingo, just hold on a second, because I will check your numbers, okay? Ooh, the thunder. I sure hope I don't lose my power. I shouldn't have even said that. I do not want to put that out in the universe. So, Judy, which basket uh, do you want? Okay, 
So she wants the red truck. Now there was another bingo. Who was the other one? Was there another bingo, guys? I think so. Linda Dennis. You call bingo as well, right? Oh, let me get my ruler here. So, Linda, were you saying you called bingo or are you drawing attention to uh, Judy's bingo? I'll check your numbers real quick. So you have 12, 29, where's that six? Six, 17, and five. So congratulations, Linda. Uh, which basket do you want? Congrats to Judy and to Linda. So Linda, which basket do you want? So we're still gonna have one more winner from this round. So don't uh, don't make any changes, guys, okay? Uh, Linda, I just need your basket choice. It would be pink flowers, red flowers, multiple flowers, or red truck. Okay, so let's just keep playing. Get these all lined up. When y'all see Linda's choice for basket, let me know. Three. I knew we were gonna get multiples. So we're only gonna have one more winner for this round. So I know we have several uh, beings. Okay, so Linda wants the red truck as well. If you guys need me to hold up the baskets again, just let me know, I'd be happy to, okay? I'm gonna hold off on the jokes at this point because I think that we're getting very close to a winner. The last number I drew was a three. Okay. <laughs> 20. Maybe I'll tell another joke. What do you call cats that like to bowl? Alley cats. Okay, we've got several beans. While we're waiting, just a second. Oh, okay, so looks like we have, uh, Edith has bingo, right? Was Edith first? Um, so it starts with a G. Okay, so Edith's numbers are um, three, six, 12, 20, and 30. So Edith, Edith was first, right guys? Wait, who was first? I can scroll back, I think. Okay, so, um, yes, Edith was, okay. So Edith, you have one, which basket do you want? Yeah, she was first, because if I look at the, if I scroll back, uh, yes, it was first. So sorry, I'm, it makes me feel terrible, but I can't, I can't change the rules. Uh, yeah, so it is first. Uh, which basket do you want? So let me mark um, her name with a little asterisk, and then we're gonna wipe off the board. You want the red truck as well. That basket is very popular. I just ordered some Halloween fabric and some Christmas fabric this week. Uh, four baskets, of course. I'm also thinking about offering fabric baskets for my Chick Rewards. Congrats to our three winners for game number one. So that was Linda, Edith, and Judy. So congrats to our three winners for game number one. So now you're going to wipe your board clear, however you keep track of your uh, numbers. Yeah, and we should come up with some type of thing that I should give y'all to keep track of your numbers. Um, yeah, so 
I need to work on a document for y'all, some kind of little thing. Uh, Tess, I buy fabric from all across the United States online. <laughs> so I'm on a lot of different um, uh, mailing lists for fabric companies. So yeah, I normally now when I post the baskets, I will normally link to um, the fabric somewhere. So yeah. And I can share some of those names. Uh, like today I ordered fabric from Missouri Quilt. Um, okay, so we're gonna draw the first number. This is game number two. So if anybody's uh, just now joining us, if you showed up late, you have not seen Stamper Showcase yet for June. That's coming up tomorrow. After I get this filmed, uh, I'm gonna film that one. Yeah, going on vacation, like really put me behind. Um, although I love vacation, so yeah. Okay, I'm gonna scroll back and make sure I didn't miss any other questions. I think I was talking about that. Um, so Tiffany said she keeps missing the bingo signups. Tiffany, if you'll join my Chicks and Crafts Facebook group, Chicks and Crafts with an N, if you join that Facebook group, you won't be able to miss it unless you just block the emails because this group will actually send you an email if you click get notifications. And I usually post the date on there first. Um, yeah, so if you join that group, you won't miss it. Okay, now I'm gonna scroll back down. Um, okay, here we go. The next number is seven. And while y'all are looking at your numbers, I'm just gonna confirm that Brookie's okay and she still hasn't answered my text. She can call her daddy too, I think. Okay, the next number, this is game number two. Now let me get my jokes. Why were the apple and orange all alone? Because the banana split. What do you call a cow that's sent overseas by boat? Shipped beef. <laughs> Six. What do you call it when one bull spies on another? A stakeout. Hear about the new restaurant called Karma? There's no menu. You get what you deserve. <laughs> hey, I'm a firm believer in Karma. That's why I say you better be nice. Four. Uh, so we were talking about um, online fabric stores. So Fat Quarter Shop, Missouri Quilt, uh, Shab is it Shabby Fabrics, Stephanie? I can't remember. Shabby Fabrics, Rebs, Fab, Stash. Um, yeah, I got a whole list of them. I just get an email and I look. Uh, one, so I'll tell you, uh, Missouri Quilt, and a couple other companies are giving away a dream box. And I really want a dream box for my sewing stuff because it don't have room in this room in my studio. Uh, yeah, Shabby Fabrics. So Missouri Quilt, you get an, an entry into uh, winning a dream box for every purchase you make. So I ordered from Missouri Quilt and from the other company. And I'm going to make myself a note to order every day to get more entries into that drawing. I'm just like y'all, like if you tell me I got an order to be entered to win, I am gonna order because I wanna win that dream box. <laughs> yes, I'll be happy to share my um, my uh, fabric selects. What, what am I saying? I'll be happy to share where I buy fabric. <laughs> 20, okay, what do you get when you cross a pig and a centipede? Bacon and legs. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> 
wouldn't it be great to win? Oh my gosh. I've been wanting one forever. Okay. Oh, we got a BIN. Wow. 24. Here goes them high numbers again. They show up every time. A bing already? Wow. That's amazing. I better tell a joke. Um, what two members of the cow family go with you everywhere you go? <laughs> Your calves. <laughs> oh, wait. Debbie, did you call bingo? Goodness gracious, seriously? Okay, let's check your... No wait. Okay, that's... So, Debbie, how is your name listed on my registration? Oh, there it is. I found it. Okay, let me get my ruler. It's, it's under Deb. Okay, so we have 1, 20, 24, 25, and 27. Goodness gracious, that was quick. Okay, so Deb is our first winner. Congrats. Which fabric basket do you want? That was the quickest we've ever gotten a bingo. I mean the quickest. Which basket do you want? Um, red truck, pink flower, red flower, or multiple flower. And uh, while we're waiting on her to let me know, I'm going to go ahead and, and draw a number. Congrats, Deb. <clears throat> 22, another high number. Do you, if, let me know if you want me to show you the baskets again. I'd be happy to pull them out. You want the, <laughs> you want the red truck. Well, I should have bought more of that fabric. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's draw another number. So I just drew 22 and now 9. So we got a bing. We got a couple bings. Wow. This game is going quick. <laughs> what sound would you hear if you dropped a bomb on a cow? Cow boom. <laughs> okay, Kimberly says that she has bingo. So let me check her numbers. Let's see. Okay, so Kimberly's numbers are 27, yes, 12, 6, 9, and 25. She has won our second, our second winner for our second game. Um, which basket would you like, um, Kimberly? Okay, and so... Um, any other bingos? There's another bingo after Kimberly. Yes, you can see the baskets. So this one is the, we're calling the red truck. So it's, yeah, well, that's upside down. Oh, okay, red truck. Pink flower. Red flower. And then we have the multiple flower, which is this one. Okay. I'll wait for you to let me know. Um, so who was the other bingo winner? I'm scrolling back to see. Was there another bingo besides Kimberly? I don't see another one. Okay, red truck. We are almost out of the red truck. Okay, so let's see. This was red truck number one, number two, three, four, five. So we only have one more red truck. Now, we still have one more winner this round, so I'm gonna continue drawing numbers until we get our next winner, and then we'll move on to game three, okay? 18. Congratulations. Uh, 
What do you get from an invisible cow? Evaporated milk. <laughs> okay, we got some bins, lots of bins, and a bing. Another bin. What do you call a turtle who is only awake at night? A nocturnal. <laughs> a not a, a not turtle. <laughs> Did I say that right? <laughs> what do you call a turtle who is only awake at night? A not turtle. <laughs> Two. What kind of photo did the turtle take on his iPhone? A shelfie. A shelfie. <laughs> um, okay, there's lots of bings and lots of bins. I didn't miss a bingo laughing, did I? No. I was actually laughing at the next one. Why is a turtle not able to stand up? Because it has reptile dysfunction. <laughs> I did say reptile. <laughs> the next number is 29. <laughs> I feel like we're gonna have a bingo any second now. <laughs> Okay, just some beans and bins and bees. Um, so we'll draw another number. Let me shake it. Give it luck. Eight. Where's the groan emoji? <laughs> there isn't one. Thank goodness. I really don't want to see that. There's already the angry face one, right? Uh, oh, that one's already been told. That was that was twice. Um, oh, this one was told on the uh, Stampin' Up! website last week. What do you get when you cross a sheep with a porcupine? A sheep that neat, knits its own sweaters. I wrote that one down because I thought that was pretty funny. Okay, our first two winners came very quickly, and now our last one is drawing out. What happened? Uh, 16. Um, what do you get when you cross a pig and a tortoise? Did I already say this? Slow pork? Another bing. Another bin. Another bin. Another bing. Wow. Like five people is going to call bingo on the next number. So sorry. Yeah, you can type groan. Okay, the first person that gets bingo is the last one for game number two. We've almost pulled all, of, I'm throwing that back in because I pulled two numbers. Um, 28, them big old numbers. What do you call a famous turtle? A celeb... Sh <laughs> Shoot. I shouldn't have even read that joke because I should have known. Oh, we got a bingo. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. That got me out of it. <laughs> a celeb... Celeb... <laughs> well, it's like celebrity, but with a shell. Y'all know what I'm saying? Oh, I still struggle with my... Um, some of my letters. Okay, so that was Jane, right? So let's check Jane's numbers. Um, right, was it Jane? Let me double check. I don't think I've seen things. Yes, okay, so Jane's numbers are, let me get my ruler. Uh, two is her first number, yes. Eight is her next number, yes. 18, yes. 22, mm -hmm right here 
and 28. Okay, bingo for Jane. Uh, which basket would you like? Congratulations. <laughs> Stephanie typed it for me, but I cannot pronounce it. I just struggle with the S's and the R's and the W's. Uh, so that was our final winner for game number two. So you can wipe your board now and we're gonna start game number three. And we will have three more winners, okay? Um, let's see. Yes, there's one red truck. I said that wrong. Truck left. Yes, so Jane wants the red truck. So we are officially out of the red trucks. So sorry. I had no idea that was going to be so popular. Um, kind of like the coffee one. Um, okay, so we are ready. Wipe your boards clear. I found it. Thanks, Stephanie. It was the one. Um. This is the last game, and we'll have three winners. So we got three more to go, okay? How are we on time? Not too bad. Okay, here we go. The first one is 24. If I was playing, that would be one of my numbers, wouldn't it? Yes, but I'm not playing. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Yes, instead of groan, you guys can type grr. That's my word, right? Let's draw the next one. We're going to speed this one along. 11. And now it's time for a joke. Um, what did the cow say to the turtle? Get a move on. What is the golden rule for cows? Do unto others <laughs> as you would want <laughs> others to do unto you. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, 29. <laughs> what happened to the lost cattle? Nobody's heard. H-E-R-D. <laughs> Wait, the next one's really good. Okay, we got some B-I's and some bins. Um... <laughs> I like the other, other one, too. You're going to really like the next one, too. I'm going to call a number, and then I'm going to read it. <laughs> 12. So, is, is Google a male or female? Female, because it doesn't let you finish a sentence before making a suggestion. <laughs> no flames to the men in our life, but we're just saying Okay, lots of B's, lots of B's. Twenty. Oh, I just realized I don't have my little logo thingy there. Where did I put it? Huh? I'm missing it. Here we go. The next number is four. And it's time for the next joke. Why can't a blonde dial 911? She can't find the 11. <laughs> okay, wait, this one's really good, listen. <laughs> Instead of the John, I call my toilet the gym. 
That way it sounds better when I say I go to the gym first thing every morning. <laughs> J-I-M. <laughs> that one was good. <laughs> 14. Okay, more B-I's. Lots of laughs. <laughs> and I don't, at this point, I don't even know which joke y'all are laughing at because the, the lag is about 45 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're getting closer. Several bins. Five. What's a crafter's, wait, <laughs> hold on, let me say this again. What's a crafty dancer's favorite hobby? Cutting a rug. <laughs> that is not true. What do you give a sick bird? A tweetment. Oh, my hubs is home. I hear him. Okay, we got lots of bins. 22. Is it getting ready to storm again where you are? I think ours has stopped. 10. Okay. What musical instrument is kept in your bathroom? A tuba, a tuba toothpaste. <laughs> a tuba. <laughs> that almost sounds like a Fat Albert joke, doesn't it? What did the organic vegetable, wait, how did the organic vegetable die? Natural causes. <laughs> what nickname do you keep for a monkey selling potato chips? Chipmunk. <laughs> mm, I wish I had a potato chip right now. Okay, no no bingos yet. Here we go. 28. Make sure I didn't miss a bingo while I was telling jokes. Why did the jelly roll? It saw the apple turn over. Okay, we got a bean. Several beans. Uh, 23. What do you call a scary chicken? A poultry geist. Oh, we got a bean and lots of bins. Another bean, another bean, another bin. Oh, we're getting close. <clears throat> Don't look away. Okay. 13. What does a teacher, wait, when does a teacher carry bird seed? When there's a parrot, parrot teacher conference. Lori, you have bingo? That is hilarious. Um, okay, let me check Lori's numbers. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Okay, so let me get my... 
ruler out so I can check the numbers. So her numbers are 4, 11, 19. Ugh, where's 19? Oh, wait, wrong number. Sorry. Sep wait, back up. I'm confusing Linda with Lori, so give me a second. So we've got 4. Uh, Lori, I don't, okay, no, because there's no seven. I was going to say, wait a second, your second number was not chosen. Okay, so no bingo yet. That's okay. I was just fixing to say, though, that someone emailed me earlier today and said, could, uh, could someone win a second time? I'm like, yes, I actually have someone that's won three times. That's okay. Um, nobody else called bingo, though, right? Nope. Okay, let's keep drawing. The numbers are out of order, but they're still the same. The next number is 18. That's okay. Now, the next joke. Why, what do cheerleaders say when they meet ghost? Show me your spirit. Oh, so Linda says she's got bingo. Uh, Linda, so was Linda the first, right? Linda? Yes. Okay, so let me check Linda's numbers. So, um, her first number is 5, and her second number is 12. Her third number is 18. Her fourth is 24, and her fifth is 28. So congrats, Linda, you have won bingo. Don't, don't wipe your boards, we got two more winners coming. So which basket do you want, Linda? Do you want um, the three that we have left is the pink flower, the red flower, or the multi-flower? You want the pink flower, okay. I love that one. That fabric line is one of my favorites. Okay, pink flower. Okay, we're still, we got two more winners, right? Six, seven, yep, two more. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tina. Tina says she has a lonely bee. Uh, 27 is the number that I just called. 27. Okay, there's all of our numbers. You're welcome. So we got another Bing. So Tammy's and Margaret both say they have Bingo. So let's check Tammy's numbers first. Uh, she called Bingo first. So, uh, Tammy's numbers are 4, 13, 18, 27, and 28. Okay, congrats, Tammy. You won. Uh, which basket would you like? Your choices are either the red flower or the multiple flower. And then I think Margaret called. So Margaret, let me check your numbers. So her first number was five. Her second number was 13. Her third number was 23. Her fourth was 27. And her fifth was 29. Okay, congrats, Margaret. You were our final winner of bingo today, and uh, your basket will be whichever one Tammy doesn't select. Um, let's see if she told me yet. She wants the multi-flower. So, um, 
Tammy's getting the multi-flower. Margaret, you get the red flower. This fabric is super soft. I mean, both of these are really, really soft. It's a different kind of fabric uh, than the others. They're all quilting fabric, but... Um, okay, so this one is red flower. And Tammy was the multi. Okay. So guys, that is it for bingo. Uh, those of you that won, I will be emailing you later um, this evening and you get to choose $87 of Stampin' Up! product of your choice, current product. Um, if there's anything on the clearance rack you want, you can also choose clearance rack, but I have to have your list no later than the 20th. So I'll send you an email or you're welcome to email me. Um, and... Um, we're going to take about a 10 minute break and we're going to come back and we're going to make our projects. Now I will tell you this, if you guys need to scoot out of here, you can. I've already filmed all five projects. It's already edited and ready to go. So I don't have it posted publicly yet, but after I do this, uh, I'll probably post it Monday on my blog. Yeah, I will. So you don't have to stay and watch the make and takes if you don't want to, because I've already pre-recorded it. And then that way you don't have to listen to all the talking and everything, unless you want to, right? Okay, any questions before we take a 10 minute break? Uh, Norma, I don't know if I can post my jokes. You're not the first one to ask that. I, I'm, I'm af I'll tell you why I have it, because I've probably had about 15 people ask. I'm afraid of copyright issues. Because I don't know, like people just email me these jokes and I don't know where they're coming from, what source they were came from. And so it's kind of like recipes and fabric patterns. Like I'm terrified of getting in trouble for posting something that's not my own content. So I don't know. I will see if I can ask around and find out. Uh, the measurements for the cards will be in your PDF. So the instructions will be available tomorrow in a really pretty PDF with all the box templates. So I already have, um, I can show you the box templates now. They're already ready. So this is one of the boxes. This is the second box. So your PDF will have everything. Tomorrow, those of you that paid for bingo will receive a code to redeem for the PDF over on my blog. That way you can download it from anywhere in the world. Um, yeah, so Peggy, exactly. I'm worried about the copyright issues. That's why I haven't done it because I cannot afford to be sued just because of a joke sharing. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're welcome to write them all down, but um, I just don't feel like I can make it available because of that very reason, because this is a money because there's money exchanged for bingo. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's kind of a touchy subject, but if I was just doing this for free, I think I could, but because I charge for bingo, I might get in trouble. Yeah, anyway, sorry. Uh, I probably should have just emailed you that answer, but anyway, um, yeah, just Google corny jokes. So Diane asked about the measurements. So yeah, they will be available in the in the PDF uh, and those that didn't do bingo, it's available, it will be available for a small fee. So yeah, it does take me a couple days to get those done. <laughs> okay, so no questions. So I'm gonna come right back here uh, in 10 minutes. So it's 3.05, I'll be back at 3.15 right here in this group. I am gonna end this video so that bingo is its own video and the make and takes will be a separate video. So thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in 10 minutes, okay?